Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Amber and I just want to say welcome. So today's video, I'm creating this makeup look today as well as trying out the new Wishful Chin Lift Sculpting Sheet Mask. I look a little crazy when doing my eye makeup, but I just definitely wanted to try it out and showcase it to you guys and give you guys my thoughts and first impressions. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I want to see how I create this electric blue smoky eye. Definitely keep on watching. Now back in the day, your girl used to have a snatched jaw and then I gained weight and then it kind of just... It's not horrible, but it's just, it's not there. It says lifting effect, enhanced jawline, sculpted appearance, hydration. And I decided to do my eye makeup while I have this on. So that's why I did one eye off camera. Just so y'all know. All right, so now that I have it out, this is what it looks like. It says to remove plastic film from mask. So it says to avoid discomfort, stretch by tugging at each end and put the middle of your chin the middle of your chin put your chin in the middle of the the mask this will be interesting so i just want to show you the before so this is before it's not really distinct this is my good like selfie side the way that i you know i hold my camera up and i use a lot of this side put my chin oh it's cold oh my god my head must be freaking huge so i guess you really have to like stretch it out and she said in the video, oh my god, my ears are huge. Okay, I look <laughs> I look ridiculous. She said just a tap, like put it behind your ears and then adjust the mask so it's right below your lip line. I definitely highly recommend stretching it. Smooth it into the neck. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite eye primers as of right now. It's the Hourglass Eye Primer Veil. I really want the eyeshadow to pop, so since this eyeshadow primer is slightly tacky. I feel like it'll really hold that pigment really nicely. I'm quickly taking this nude palette from ColourPop. I just want to start off by transitioning into this eyeshadow look. So I'm going to go in with these three shades right here. And I'm mixing all of them at once. And I'm just going to create a smoky eye with this. So I'm going to take this matte blue shade from ColourPop. And it's in the shade Fat. Fat. It's in the shade Fine China. Take that shadow all over the lid. Just keeping it all on my lid space. So next I'm going to take this NARS Naked City. It's a loose eye pigment. It's a power chrome. And when I tell you I saw this, it was beautiful, like gorgeous. I love that it's an easy application with a brush instead of just only with your finger. If you have nails, you know what I'm talking about. Trying to like swipe it and then like go towards the eyelid space. It's complicated. So next I'm going to be taking my So Extra Mykonos lashes. Let me see how long I've had this on. So what I'm going to do is just do what Huda did, take that off, hold that. So I'm going to put side by side frames of the lines from before and after. Next I'm going to go in with my Complexion Perfection Primer from Huda Beauty and then the Huda Beauty Macchiato Faux Filter High Coverage. Taking my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. My goal is just to really highlight. I'm not so much concealing anything. And taking my Vanilla Loose Setting Powder from Anastasia, I am going to just set those areas. Then I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. So I did do my lip combo off camera, but I will still list the products in the description box below. So I'm going to do one more thing. I'm just going to add a little bit more bronzer. I did use the Benefit Cosmetics Caramel one, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more of like a mineralized bronzer. So I'm taking my Il Maquillage Mineral Baked Bronzer. All right, so finishing up today's video, I want to quickly go over the mask that I used earlier. Here is that jawline. So I didn't contour or do anything with the jawline. All in all, I think it's a pretty cool mask to have. It's definitely different than the sheet mask. She did come out with some hydrating sheet mask. I didn't want to use that today, but I could see like if I have a night out or I have like, I don't know, like a wedding to go to whenever that will be or like a party or something. I might do that before my makeup just to give me more of like that snatched jawline. But I mean, for being like non-surgical and, you know, like no injections or anything, it's literally just a mask and you put it on. I think the concept is really cool. Definitely different. So I'd say if you want to try it, definitely can. I absolutely love this look. I haven't done a blue look in a couple of years. I truly think that shimmer on the eyes definitely just add to the look. If you guys are new to my channel, I hope you guys enjoyed my video today and welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe and if you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a nice big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.